And today, Colleen ISD joined a growing number of local school districts and announced a mandatory mask policy that will be coming this fall. 6 News reporter Nikki Latarulo has more on the new guidelines and how it's all going to work. Nikki? Hey Chris, this afternoon KISD announced all students and staff, regardless of their age, will be required to wear a mask. This goes beyond Governor Greg Abbott's mask order, which states only people above the age of 10 are required to wear one. KISD's rule will last even if the governor lifts his mandatory statewide mask order. It will be in place until district leaders say otherwise. The new guidelines say students and staff can wear their own masks as long as they are within the dress code. KISD also created a plan for students to enter and exit classrooms, as well as outlined routines to limit crowded hallways in between classes. Teachers can also establish teacher zones around their desks so they can keep a safe distance between themselves and the students. We spoke to KISD Chief Communications Officer Taina Maya, who explained the mask mandate further and said this is a fluid situation and they will continue to update the guidelines. We will be requiring it for all students unless there is a special need or an accommodation that's made. The district looked today at implementing a lot of additional health and safety protocols because we are trying to be flexible and adaptable with the COVID-19 situation as it stands today. All of this, of course, is, you know, can be changed in just a moment's notice. All district employees will be trained on specific ways to slow the potential spread of the virus. And regardless of these new guidelines, KISD parents still have the option on whether or not they want to send their kids back to school in person or digitally. You can see a full list of these new guidelines on our website. That's KCENTV.com. For now, reporting in Temple, Nikki Latarulo, 6 News. All right, thank you so much, Nikki. And KISD will be holding a virtual roundtable event at the end of this week, and then parents have the opportunity to submit questions that they would like to be answered. We're going to have the link to the question form at our website, kcentv.com. So go there and sound off, especially if you have a question.